What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. Um, so as you guys obviously know, we put a lot of the behind the scenes sort of stuff here. Um, I'm actually with my friend Brad right now. We are just starting out doing Randonautica. We've already ran the first point using one of your intentions, uh, which you guys will obviously see in the main channel video. Right now, I just kind of thought of something because uh, I was thinking about everything that we had encountered last week, all of our experiences, and something really, really strange happened and uh, so you guys probably remember I did like a two-part series in Pittsburgh and one of the things that I had found in Pittsburgh was this little owl thing at first I didn't really realize what it was do you know what this is Brad I don't know. I almost thought it was like a salt and pepper shaker. Oh, am I right? You're oh right. my yeah. god, it's, here we go, It's baby. literally a salt and pepper <laughs> shaker, so... Interestingly enough, uh, this one is I had found in Pittsburgh. And I'm pretty sure I had done the Intent Randonautica. I think that's what I had used, if I'm not mistaken. Just literally found this on the curb. That's excellent. Um, which is funny. It's a little bit broken. Apparently he uh, he's missing an ear. <laughs> but the funny thing is that it is an owl. And, and it looks like, it actually looks like, like the, the owl of the yeah. symbol. It literally yeah, looks yeah. like it the really logo. Does. So yeah, that was interesting. Then we ended up going to the Catskills in New York. Totally different state. And guess what I found? His twin brother. There you go. Yeah. And you know <laughs> that they're you know that they're different because I mean one's got a broken ear and obviously one salt, one's pepper. They got different holes. Um, oh, yeah. Apparently the uh, the butt holes don't work anymore. No more <laughs> butt plugs for you, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. That was really weird. How we found literally two different things. So. It is, I guess, possible that somebody went to that resort, placed that one for me to find. Um, I don't know. That was kind of strange. You tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Um, but yeah, apart from that, let's talk about Pittsburgh because I realized that I had edited, um, or as I was editing the last vlog that I had from there in Pittsburgh, I was talking about moving there and um, what ended up happening was I got distracted because all of a sudden Brent was like, yeah, I'm ready to go for dinner or whatever. <laughs> so we kind of just like ran out the door or he ran out the door and I ran over to meet up with him for dinner and whatever. And um, yeah, I was talking about potentially moving there. So basically what I'm going to have to do is apply for a green card. I'm probably going to do that within the next couple of months just to see what happens and uh, hopefully they approve me. And then what has to happen is I have to live there for a certain amount of time and then I can eventually apply for actual citizenship. Not going to revoke my Canadian citizenship even though Canada's kind of shitty these days. Um, but I will be a dual citizen and uh, just have both and I can come and go as I please and live there, work there legally. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much the plan. Are you going to miss me? Yeah, I didn't even yeah. know this until oh. you put it on your video. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> you I, never told me this. I spoke about it last year that I wanted to do that. I just yeah. kind of fell in love with that city. Um, I mean, obviously there's a lot of other cool places too, but... I don't know, I just really like Pittsburgh and... Uh, well, and you have the dual citizenship, so it's not like I'm going to miss you. Like, you can come here and... Yeah, exactly. Can, Once yeah, you decide so. to finally get your passport together, I then will, I will. You can so. drive. It's only a, a five-hour drive with tolls, right? Yeah. So, it's um, only 125 or 150 bucks for a passport. There you go. So. It's uh, it's not that bad. So, yeah, um, yeah we are going to uh, finish up doing some Randonautica. I'll probably add some other stuff to this vlog later on. Um, I am going to actually be putting a few of our haunted videos. You guys probably already saw one before this video was ready. Just because I do sometimes film extra content and then so long passes um, and I honestly just don't have the time to edit it and I'm busy with everything else. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys a lot of extra haunted content as here when I can as often as I can. Um, so I hope you guys appreciate that and enjoy it as well. And uh, I'm also probably going to meet up with Ethan at some point this week and we'll see if we end up filming a couple cool things. Probably Alberto because he's been uh, begging me to meet up with him. I guess he misses me too. I haven't seen him in a little while but uh, yeah I will catch up with you guys in a bit. 
All right guys, welcome back to the vlog. I actually haven't filmed anything for the vlog in a few days. Reason why is because I've been extremely busy and um, I don't know why I was so zoomed in there, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I've been extremely busy working on a bunch of stuff on top of obviously, you know, the regular content that we post almost on a daily basis on the main channel, Exploring with Angelo. Um, but yeah, this week, I actually, or actually last week, I made a crazy decision and uh, that decision was to finally get a new car. Well, newer car. So I did buy something. It's actually going to be arriving in about an hour, which is kind of funny, which I will explain that in a second. But we are finally getting rid of the Mitsubishi. Honestly, this thing has been fantastic. I mean, considering like I didn't really have to do too much to it and it's been you know kind of surviving at this point uh just been kind of fixing things as they break but at this point this car is getting a little too old for what it is that i need to do and what i need to accomplish the problem is that it's like almost on a weekly to monthly basis now things are constantly going on it i mean it's very old we live in canada so we experience harsh winters a lot of salt things get very very rusty and uh, honestly i'm just really excited but yeah this is the uh the old machine here the old beast um this thing is in very rough shape since i decided to you know one day hit a wall accidentally well really the wall jumped out in front of me and uh yeah he was he was kind of a dick but <laughs> is what it is like the freaking light is all messed up everything is so worn on this thing it's ridiculous the light like i guess a rock must have hit that and probably smashed it in and I don't know, we're having all sorts of weird issues. Um, this rear brake decided it was gonna break not too long ago, like it was actually hilarious. Then I took the rotor off and all of the shoes and all of the components just completely fell out, which sucks. Um, but you know, the body's not in bad shape apart from like one little tiny rust spot, but yeah, she's getting old, man. She is old, but uh, she's definitely been reliable. And uh, yeah, I'm just honestly very excited to have something that I don't really have to worry too much about. And um, that hopefully that thing, if I go to like Texas or something, the thing's not going to just randomly break down on me. Uh, you guys will see what I get very, very shortly. But uh, a little bit of information on how this came to be. Um, I was actually going to wait longer to buy a car. Uh, but you know what? I just kind of decided because I needed, you know, reliability. I can now finally afford it because I've been working my freaking butt off. But yeah, I've been working my butt off to make all of these, uh, you know, videos for YouTube, for the other channel, this channel, and it's just been like non-stop. I have not taken a proper vacation probably now in almost two to two and a half years. Uh, maybe even longer, maybe it's been like three years. And what I'm talking about, like to me a vacation is like, you know, going to sit on the beach on a resort for at least a week and uh, you know, you just eat as much as you want, drink as much as you want, relax and just kind of recuperate. I have not really done that. I've taken odd uh, beach vacations here and there down to Florida and wherever, uh, but I'm also always kind of working at the same time, always editing, always trying to film more vlogs and videos, um, which not that they're bad or anything, but I just feel like really exhausted and kind of like, um, I just really don't want to burn out. I know a lot of YouTubers experience burnout and it's very very bad and this is something that is kind of annoying to see from our viewers sometimes not all of you guys but there are sometimes a few people that will be like oh well uh jazz usually gives us three to four videos a week and the last little while he's only been doing two a week which um, realistically, these videos take a long time to produce. They cost a lot of money at the same time. Not that I'm complaining or anything like that, but it's just that, you know, we're human beings. We're not robots. We can't just work nonstop forever. We will literally burn out. It'll affect the, the content that we create. Won't come out as good as it probably should be. Um, right now I'm okay, but like in maybe a month or two from now, I'm gonna need probably a week off and I'm hoping that if I only upload two videos that week instead of four, that people won't complain. Um, but apart from that, I have to say that things have been pretty dang good, obviously because you guys are, are you know, amazing. You guys love watching these videos and I love creating these videos. So, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand. Um, 
but yeah it's just been you know I've been doing better now and I'm just glad that I can actually finally do something for myself instead of driving this beat up old car uh, that doesn't even look great anymore unfortunately uh, but yeah the past like six months things have really really been changing like life has really been changing uh, I want to move to the US soon probably to Pittsburgh um, I'm finally getting a new car been losing tons of weight feeling a lot healthier I mean obviously there's still some things that I can work on um, but things are just getting much better and I have to say it's because I never gave up and that's kind of a message to a lot of people too a lot of you guys maybe want to accomplish something whether it's like you know start a business uh, go and do something for in school I don't know whatever it might be maybe a career wise maybe lose weight um, but yeah honestly you just have to kind of focus and just never give up even when you're freaking tired as all hell like I am right now and I could really use that vacation but yeah I'm gonna head home and uh, wait for this car to be delivered and as I was saying with the car delivery is kind of a funny thing I've never done this before um, but there's a company here in Canada where you can actually buy a car off of their website they'll do all the financing for you they'll plate it clean it repair whatever needs to be fixed um, things like that and then they'll actually bring the car to you on a trailer offload it and then they're gonna take this as a trade-in and apply it towards the price or whatever and it's just really really funny because I've never experienced this before and I'm kind of hoping that everything goes perfectly smoothly as it has so far and um, that I can actually give them maybe like a shout out in one of my videos sometime in the near future or maybe even do some sort of collab with them. I like doing that with like companies that I actually work with in real life. I love doing collaborations and helping them out and you know working together to, to kind of help each other at the end of the day. Um, but yeah the experience has been really really awesome so far. Super excited to get this car literally within probably an hour or two and uh, yeah I'm gonna head back home and uh, wait for them to show up I guess. Yeah, this is probably going to be the last time I ever drive in this car. Outlander, you have been fantastic to me, but I think it is time to move on in three, two, one. Whoa! What is this? Is this my new car? <laughs> yeah, it's literally my new car, guys. I, uh... Officially own a 2019 Subaru Forester. It's not like the super high-end model or anything. It's like somewhere kind of above the base model. Pretty much exactly what I needed. Um, this is more or less what it looks like on the inside. Very clean and uh, relatively new. Much, much newer than what I had, which is very exciting. But yeah, this is very exciting. I finally have an in-dash nav. I have all these cool features and stuff and sport mode and dual climate controls and you know off-road options and pretty much everything I need to uh, you know do my day-to-day -day stuff. I'm honestly most excited because I have Bluetooth and I can finally play music in my freaking car. Uh, so before the Outlander did not have like an auxiliary jack or any sort of Bluetooth. It had like some hands-free but honestly since I bought the car I've never been able to figure out how to get it to work. For some reason, it just was not active. I have absolutely no why, no idea why. Um, but yeah, everything works really, really great in here. I have the uh, the Android Auto. I can even literally watch YouTube videos on my screen, which you're technically not supposed to. But a lot of times, I'll watch podcasts, so I'm not actually st even staring at the screen. But it's kind of nice to like, you know, you glance over, you see what the people in the video are talking about. Of course, it's raining now, so uh, let me quickly show you guys what the outside looks like. Of course, it just has to rain as I'm trying to finish this vlog for you guys. But yeah, this is the outside of the vehicle. I'm glad, you know, I have great working headlights now before on the other car. If you guys remember, this side was like all smushed in and the light was like facing down, which was such a pain in the ass. Um, it's a nice color. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, here's the trunk area. Lots of space, which is freaking awesome. I don't really have too much in here right now. Just, you know, some cloth, some toilet paper in case uh, I'm with Carlo because he always needs toilet paper and, uh, you know, my hunting knife, whatever. But it's going to be perfect for traveling, which is exactly why I got it. I just really needed something reliable. Um, this one is much newer. The body's in great shape. It runs really, really well. I would have actually liked the, there's like a black with like red accents version. 
Uh, it's a little bit of a higher model than this. It even had like an, a few extra cool features and it looked really, really cool. But unfortunately, I didn't find what I was looking for used. Um, so I kind of just opted for this one for the time being. But you know what? I really could care less. It's, uh, it's a great car, has all wheel drive. It's, uh, it's kind of peppy too. It's got a little bit of, uh, you know, some horsepower. So yeah, I'm uh, pretty excited and I uh, can't wait to be able to use it on road trips and uh, feel a little bit more confident that, you know, a wheel's not gonna fall off, a wheel bearing's gonna explode like I was having with the Outlander, which is why I opted to get something significantly newer. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a good uh, year, I guess. 2023 is literally, what, around the corner at this point? I know we're still in August, but um, yeah, I'm really, really excited to, to be able to just focus on what it is that I need to do and not worry about, you know, breaking down on the side of the road. But uh, yeah, a little bit of updates. Next week, I'm actually um, gonna be meeting up with Jazz and we're gonna go film Kings Park Asylum uh, for our new Randonautica slash Haunted series, which is gonna be really exciting because I don't think we've ever really done that before. Film abandoned, super haunted location and do Randonautica at the exact same time. I think the only other time we did that, there was like a psych center that we did. Um, the place was haunted, but not like super over the top haunted. So this is going to be really, really interesting. I hope you guys are excited for that. Um, but yeah, apart from that, uh, I don't really feel the need to show off this car too much more. I just want to kind of enjoy it for myself and uh, like I said, have the confidence. So I hope you guys are enjoying these uh, little side missions and extra vlogs on this channel. Um, smash the like button and uh, go subscribe if you're new. I know this one's probably a little bit shorter than you. Usual, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys uh, the upgrades I've had to do in my life. Also, I forgot to mention I even lost a couple more pounds. I'm officially under 186 pounds. So I've lost 31 pounds plus exactly since April. I'm still focusing on doing more. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that as well. But uh, in the meanwhile, I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye-bye.